In this video, let's understand the factors affecting price elasticity of demand. See, whatever happens, I told you before, there are certain factors that are attached to it and affects the particular happening. So there are certain factors that affect the price elasticity of demand. And this is the most important question that repeatedly comes in your 12th year CBSE board exams. Right? So number one factor is nature of commodity. See your necessity goods, your necessities, which I gave you an example in the previous video about the milk. So if there is any change in the price of salt, matchbox, kerosene oil, textbooks, the demand does not change much, right? So this is your less than unitary elastic demand. For the necessities, your demand is less than unitary. If I talk about your luxurious goods, Let's say gold. If the price of gold is reduced, the there will be a drastic change in the demand of the gold. People who are who cannot afford now will be able to afford the gold, so ultimately increasing its demand. So these are greater than unitary elastic. right so comforts like transitors cooler fans have neither elastic nor inelastic demand so these are your nature of commodity these are neither elastic nor inelastic Right? The second is your availability of substitutes. See, if the commodity has its substitute in the market, then the elasticity of demand is relatively more elastic. Right? because you will shift to that commodity which is cheaper so substitutes and no substitutes substitutes you are relatively more elastic just because people will shift from one commodity to other you will shift to the substitutes if the price of your product goes up so these are more elastic and these are less elastic or you can say inelastic demand. Third factor is your different uses of a commodity. Commodities that can be put to a variety of uses have elastic demand. Electric electricity has multiple uses. It is used for lightning, room heating, air conditioning, cooking, etc. So, if the uh, you know price of electricity increases, its use will be restricted to important purposes only, right? So, you will withdraw some of its uh, uses. So, the different uses have elastic demand. Or on the other hand. If your uses are just limited to one or two for this particular product, then it is inelastic demand. So different uses have elastic demand. Or no, no different use, you have inelastic demand. The fourth one comes out to be the postponent of good. of the use. Demand will be elastic for those commodities whose consumption can be postponed. See if you have to make a house okay and if the prices of cement bricks suddenly fall down 
so what you will do you will not postpone its you know production you will just buy the uh, cements the bricks and start constructing the house so postponement of the use its use can be postponed see if you think that in future the demand uh, the price of the cement bricks will fall down so you will postpone its use in the uh, for the future you will wait for the prices to come down so in this case it is more elastic so this has elastic demand right if cannot if you cannot postpone then you cannot do anything about the you know change in the prices so what you have to do is you have to do, uh, take the particular commodity so that is in elastic demand let's come to the very important point that is income of the consumer people whose income are very high or very low right so they have an elastic demand because people with very low income if there is certain change in the price or a little change in their income would not affect much of the quantity because they are already a very low income people who are very rich they do, does not even care about the price of the commodities right so very rich and very poor they have inelastic they are inelastic about the demand right what comes to the middle group people let's say a price of gold it suddenly fall, falls to rupees 20000 per 24 carats so what you will you do you will definitely buy started buying more gold suddenly increasing the demand of that particular gold right so middle group in this case it is it has a elastic demand there is much effect on the quantity demand due to the change in the prices of the product your sixth point which comes is habit of consumer if you are habitual of something let's say smoking smoking is not at all good for health so please avoid it so if you say you are uh, habitual to something like tobacco or cigarettes or let's say caffeine you take uh, coffee regularly or tea as we see our old people they are very fond of uh, drinking tea after every 2 to 3 hours right so they ha they are habitual of it right if there is slightly increase or decrease of the prices the quantity demanded will not affect if a uh, cigarette uh, box would increase 20 30 rupees more what you get now so what if the people uh, person is habitual to it they will definitely buy it because they cannot live without it so the habit of the consumer have inelastic demand if you are habitual of that particular good then you have inelastic demand see the seven point is proportion of income spent on the commodity right if you spend on a commodity a small income let's say on toothpaste or salt you spend a very little income on these commodities so the elasticity of demand will be inelastic but if you spend high income on it your elasticity of demand will be elastic the last point we come to is time period see if your product is concerned with the time so in the short run your elasticity of demand is inelastic because the effect will not be seen in a short run in one or two months the effect will be seen more in the long run so in the long run the elasticity of demand is elastic 
so with this we complete the demand portion of your second of your consumer equilibrium and demand unit i hope you like the session do download our app of scholars learning and enjoy the learning experience